Hmm. I'm gonna go us. Defeated Santley. Oh, I got some. Hmm. God damn it, I only going to London. Um, some bands near me coming to the North East more. Definitely. Oh, hi guys. Sorry about that. I was just reading Terrorize of the magazine I had when I was away. Yeah. I would recommend you picking up this issue because it's a very good issue. It features Behemoth singing Nurgle because he's awesome return. So, yeah, I would recommend that. Anyway. Hi. Right. Yeah, I'm back for another updates and purchases. Now, let's go through the list because I've made a list on my computer of stuff that I need to go through. Is. Right. First off, haircut reasons. Right. As I mentioned in my, one of my videos, I can't remember exactly which one it was, that I got a haircut. And the simple being for is because I was getting sick and tired of it, to be honest. I love having long hair. It's epic for headbanging and stuff. But it's not really good when you're in HMV or in any other shop like game or anything, looking at DVDs and stuff, and you're looking at a CD and then your hair just props in front of you. It's not really good. And you may have think, put it in a ponytail. My hair wasn't long enough, so... I just decided to get a cut. Well, I think it looks alright. Yeah. <clears throat> but. Yeah, I quite like it. Uh, and my girlfriend likes it, so. Alright. Another thing is, um, that I wanted to mention was I put up a vocal cover to Partway Drive's song Karma from the album Deep Blue, if you remember. Now, I did that simply because it's been a while since I did a vocal cover. My last one before that was Amon Amar. And I plan to do a lot more vocal covers over the next coming weeks because I just want to get back into the rhythm. I mean, with us being a vocalist, it, I need to do. I think I need to do a few more vocal covers, so look forward to seeing those. Also, another thing is I'll be doing a few more CD reviews over the next couple of weeks because me CD reviews are make me prime part of my channel now, so I'm going to be doing a lot more CD reviews as they as the CDs come in, or if I haven't done any that I thought I need to, I'll do a CD review. Simple as that. Uh, another one. Oh, yeah, and also my bass, not. That one behind is me SR300, that's alright. Me F series. Yeah. I've got some new strings on it. I've gone for, I think it's this, it's the purple ones, the slightly thicker gauge strings. And I've got it tuned down to drop C, I believe. And I think it sounds. I think it sounds pretty awesome, and I really, really love the sound of it, and compared to what it was before, it sounds a lot better. So, yeah, and I might do some bass covers in the future, but with us not mainly being a bassist anymore, I'm more voteless, they'll become more rarer, so, sorry about that. Right, next up, shirts. Right, as you can notice straight away, I'm wearing one of my new ones. It's, I don't know if you can see very well, it's a uh, Burning the Master of the Shirt and it's called Burning Bitch because it's a, a bitch burning. I don't know. I bought it from my mate because he didn't want it for some reason. And I bought a CD along with it for me, price of 13 quid. And I thought it was a good deal and I'll show you the CD when I get the CDs eventually. And also the. Discarnia shirt in my Nile CD review is another shirt I got from, but that one was for free because it didn't fit them anymore. I don't know. Do it. Yeah, those are my new shirts. Uh, next up, DVDs. Right, I've only got one DVD this time. This one I bought from CEX in Sunderland. It was only, it was only a quid, and 
My girlfriend was coming over, I said, do you want us to pop into a shop and I'll see if I can find a cheap DVD? So I was looking and I came across this one for a quid. Check that. She said she wouldn't mind watching it, so I bought it and watched it and we loved it. I got the film Borat. Now, bit of, this is a really, really weird film, but I, I quite like it. It's funny and it's daft. <laughs> really good film. So, if you like very f daft stuff, buy this. Borat. Alright, next up I got a, a game. I got this yesterday and I've been playing it quite a lot over the past day or so. And it's a really good game. I got Bioshock. Now this is a steel case edition and it was it was pre owned but I really don't care. Um you don't re you only get like the steel case, you still get the manual and the game. But um, I'm really pleased with that. I've played it for a couple of hours. Very, very good game. Really recommend it. Bioshock. Uh next up is the C D X. My pride and joy. Right, I've been getting a total of eight CDs, so might as well go through them because I'm starting to build them up before I do an updates purchases because I want to. Right, first off, I got a CD of a band called A Legion, I believe. Well, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but um, I got their album Fragments of Form and Function. Now I solely picked this up solely because of the artwork. Which I think is pretty damn cool. And I'll listen to the one I got in. Very good. More like a sort of technical death metal band. I really recommend you pick that up. I will do a CD review on it. Probably I will do a CD on most of these because they're all very good CDs. Next up, I got a non death metal death or deathcore band this time. I uh, got this one solely because I've been, it's, it's a classic album. Love it. Love some of the songs so so I get the full album. I got Drown and Pearl's album Sinner. Now I will be doing a review on this because this is a very very awesome album. So I got Drown and Pearl Sinner. Got this one in I believe Reflex in Newcastle for seven ninety nine. Very good. Or six ninety nine actually. Next one is uh, I'm gonna start ordering. CDs from HMV themselves, like in the shop, because I didn't know you could do that. But I ordered two CDs, and this is the first one that I ordered. I got Fit for an Autopsy's new album, the the process of human extermination. Now, very good album. Definitely doing a review on that. Probably in the next couple of videos, I will be doing that because it's a very good album. Full on death. Love it. Next one, I spotted this one in the skater and punk section. And you may think, why am I looking in there? I wasn't, I just caught it out the corner of my eye. It was shown there and it said the name of it. But I just decided to get it. Awesome CD. I got Miss May I, the album Monument. Now, this is a deluxe edition. It's got a CD and DVD. I really like this, so I will be doing a review on it soon. Miss me out. <clears throat> Next one is the other album I ordered um, after Fit for an Autopsy from HMV. Uh, I love this album, and I will be doing a review on this within the next couple of videos. I got The Harbinger by Molotov Solution. Very, very awesome album. I'll, as I said, I will be doing a review on that because Molotov Solution rule. And I've got some other news about Molotov Solution as well, which I'll tell you about in a minute. <clears throat> right, I've uh, got a CD of a, a non, this one's more of a non-metal band, and as you can probably see now, it's Rush, and it's their EP, Feedback. Now, I'll explain why I got this one, because it's not usually t something that I would buy. I wouldn't usually buy a sort of a rock sort of album, but I'll explain in the review of that. So i got Rush. Next up is the CD I got with this Burning the Master shirt. Um, for 13 quid. Now it's a very rare CD, apparently. I got Tulsa Fox album, Erotic Diary of Fantasy. 
I will be doing a review on this because it's a very good uh, porno grind album. I believe that's the genre. Very good. Awesome fuck. And finally, this one I spotted in Hot Rats in Sunderland. And it was only a mere fiver. So I thought I'd get it. And I got Whitechapel's album, This Is Exile. I've got their previous work, as you know. I've got A New Era of Corruption. Sorry. Yeah, their latest pressing. Uh, a new era of corruption, but I decided to get this one because it's a very good album. Also, Whitechapel, this is Exile. We'll be doing a review on all those CDs eventually. Right now, as for updates on new stuff coming out, Betraying the Martyrs are bringing out a new album soon, very soon in fact, and it's called Breathe in Life. They've just got a new voters because they're all voters left of them, but I think he's still in, like, sort of manager them, I believe. They've got a new album coming out. I'm very excited for that because I really like portraying the martyrs. Uh, next up is an artist called The Browning. Now, The Browning are uh, like a like dance or deathcore, you know, with trans stuff in it. Their album, Burn This World, is coming out very very soon and I'm very tempted to order because I've listened to a lot of the stuff and it's very good so that's that uh, I mentioned these before Carnifex they have a new album coming out and they finally released the title and also the artwork and I'll tell you the title while I show you the artwork the album is called Until I Feel Nothing very good title and I'm really looking forward to that because I love Carnifex <clears throat> Molotov Solution, as I said, I've got some news of them. They've got a new album coming out called Insurrection. Now they've released a few tracks from from that upcoming release. One of the songs features Aaron Warren from Oceano, and I'm very looking forward to the album. I will be purchasing it because I love Molotov Solution. And finally, Suffocate, awesome band. They're Got an, they have a new album coming out as well, which is called Return to Despair. Now, I, I'm thinking about getting that, because I've heard some of the stuff on Media Scare TV, which I believe is their record label, I don't know. But I'll put the link to that track down there. And I'll also put the link to uh, Molotov Solutions track uh, as well, because they're awesome. So that's all the updates and purchases. Uh, we'll be doing, as I said before, I'm doing some CD reviews and vault covers on the way. So, and on a final note, the updates and purchases will be like won't be appearing as often because I want to build up like CDs or shirts or or whatever before I do them. So that's that. Anyway, this concludes my latest updates and purchases. Hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, STAY METAL!